Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I am back with the Razer Forge and we're going to be testing out some PSP games. I'm using PPSSPP 1.3.0.1. Now we'll go to my settings and I'll show you what I'm using here. We have OpenGL, buffered rendering, frame skip is off, and I am sitting at the rendering resolution of 2x. Some of these games run great and some of them don't run very well at all. First game we're going to test is Tekken Dark Resurrection. Now I'll give you a sound clip here. There's a big problem when recording sound on YouTube from copyrighted music and games like this. But sound works great in all the games that I've tested. Welcome to the King of Iron Fist Tournament. As you can hear. Now I did forget to do one thing here. I need to go into settings and turn the FPS on. I was pretty sure I had it on already. Okay, here we are. So the FPS is listed up in the top right hand corner. So it's very shaky. Now this is Tekken Dark Resurrection. I believe this was Tekken 6. Tekken 5 runs amazingly on this, but Dark Resurrection struggles a little bit, as you can see here. On a lot of the Android devices, Android TVs that I've tested, this game has struggled for some reason. We're going to go back and check the rendering resolution. We're just going to go down to 1x, see if that helps out any. If not, the game's going to be pretty much unplayable at that FPS there. And it didn't help much at all. We should be running at 60 FPS. And we're only at about 45, so. This game is just hard on PSP emulation. So I'll change my rendering resolution back up and we'll test another game. That's disappointing, but Tekken 5 does run really well on this box. Next up, Monster Hunter Freedom Unite. And I do have a save here. This game runs at 30 FPS and it's running at 30 FPS on the Razer Forge. And it looks really good at this resolution. You may be able to go up a little bit on this game here. This game was very optimized for the PSP and it works really good on a lot of Android devices that I've tested. Very fun game. Now I'm just going through the tutorial here. We'll fight a couple monsters. I tried to transfer my saves over from other Android devices and a lot of the times they just won't transfer over. It'll tell me that the load failed or something like that. Come on. Really nice though. Let's see if we can go up a bit here. Now when changing this rendering resolution, it makes a big difference in the appearance. We'll actually go from 2 to 4. I'm not sure if it's going to work, but we'll try it out. And as you see, it looks so much cleaner at 4x. Yeah, we're at 30 FPS. Not bad at all for this little box here. 
It's got an older uh, chipset in it, you know, the Snapdragon 805. They ran this in a lot of flagship phones back in the day. And it still holds its own at 1080p. I haven't tried God of War yet. I'm going to start the game. I'll go through the initial cutscenes, fast forward them for you, and we'll see how it performs. But I guarantee you we're going to need to go down in the resolution with this one. And I'm not even going to risk it. I'm going to go to 1x on this game. I know how hard this game is to run. Throw a little bit of sound on here so you can hear it. Very horrible. I mean, it is crazy bad. We will not be able to emulate this game. We're at 20 FPS. If you turn frame skip on in this game, it just starts flashing. It goes crazy. There's really not much helping this at all. There are some hacks we could turn on. I'm not even going to try it because we will not even reach 30 FPS on this box. This, in my opinion, is the hardest game to emulate for PSP. It's just very hard. I, I don't know what it is. It's pretty crazy, though. Very, very bad. Next up, Kingdom Hearts. And I'm going to go to 2x on this. So as you can see, I have a save state here. Sound clip. This game should run at a constant 30 FPS. We're slowing down a lot here. That's very disappointing because this is such a good game. Down to 22 FPS. We're at 2x resolution. Go to settings. 1x. And I'll turn some hacks on just to see what we got here. So it does help out a little bit. The graphical fidelity is very compromised when you go down to 1x resolution. And it's still slowing down. In the very beginning of this game, it ran really well in the initial tutorial. But coming in here with all three characters on screen and some of these orbs, the performance is just... Pretty bad. I was really hoping it was going to run this game at full speed. Oh well. Let's try another game here. I'm going to change the settings. We just went back to stock settings. 2x resolution, all the hacks off. Little big planet. So we had a load here. Got some sound on so you can hear it for a second. Really great emulation on this game. This is a very optimized game for the PSP and it runs very well on a lot of systems I've tested it on. So while we're here, let's just see how high we can take this. We'll go to 5x PSP. And as you can see, it looks really, really good. It's on par with the PS3 version at 5X. 30 FPS, really nice. I gotta turn the sound down. I'll run through here a little bit and see how slow we can get it. If you do get slowed down and you're at 5X, just go down a little bit with the resolution. 
you'll get that speed right back. But it looks like this box is going to handle this game really good. No trouble here, guys. You should be able to play all the way through this game with this box here. So we'll go back and we'll try one more game. And that game is going to be Final Fantasy Crisis Core. I haven't started this game yet. I'm definitely going to need to go down in the resolution. I will get into the first battle and we'll see how it performs. All right, guys, a little bit of sound here. Can't do much of this. Definitely get flagged. Sounds dead on. 30 FPS, 2x resolution. This game has performed very well on a lot of systems also. One of the best games made for the PSP. There we go. Oh, we dipped down a little bit when we're using our magic here. Lots of particles on screen. And I knew I was going to miss you. All right, here's where it's gonna get good. We'll be able to see if we can run this at full speed. Yeah, you should have no trouble playing through this whole game here. Some of the more problematic games are definitely going to give you problems on this. As you saw, God of War, uh, Tekken Dark Resurrection. There's some other games that just don't run well with the PSP <laughs> emulator. Really nice, though. Let's see if we can go up one with this game, because it looks really good if we can get a higher resolution. We'll go to four. I'm not counting on it, but I got my fingers crossed. Yeah, that seems to work pretty good. Right in the nuggets. Oh, get out of here. I want to hit him with this blizzard, but I know he's going to run out of the way. So yeah, I'm surprised that this box handled this PSP emulator as well as it did. With the older 805 Snapdragon processor, I really wasn't counting on it, but I got to say it did pretty good. I mean, Little Big Planet Crisis Core, we did struggle with Kingdom Hearts, Dark Resurrection, and God of War. Those are three of the hardest games to run on this PPSSPP emulator. A lot of Android boxes and phones do struggle with those games. Overall, decent performance. I mean, you can get these on eBay for 99 bucks refurbished with the uh, servo controller that comes with it. It's definitely worth it if you don't want to fork out the $200 for an NVIDIA Shield TV.
But if you have the extra cash, go for the NVIDIA Shield. I appreciate you guys watching. I have a lot more coming. If you could, hit that like button and subscribe.